You've probably started to see that we need the architectural model to get a lot of our information. Rooms and spaces are no exception. See, in architecture, we see these as rooms. In MEP, we see them as spaces. We actually want to put physical spaces in there so it can read the information coming from the room. Plus, it also adds things like lighting and CFM. I'm zoomed in a little bit. You might not be. That's okay. Let's make sure we're all in the same view. In the project browser, let's go to electrical, power, floor plan, level one. Now, the next thing I want to do is make sure our architectural link is set up for room bounding. What that means is, by default, when we bring an architectural model into an MEP model, it doesn't understand that these are walls and it could bind a room. We want to click the link and make sure that Revit MEP does understand that these walls actually will contain rooms. Select your link, click edit type, and the room bounding is turned on. I know we did it in a previous exercise, I just want to make sure. Click OK. Hit escape a couple of times. I want to zoom in on this room here because we understand that this is the electrical room 107. We can't see that. We don't even have a space in here. So to put a space in, let's go to the Analyze tab and click Space. Since we now know that we are set up for room bounding, Revit will pick up the actual room information and create a space right here. Hit Escape a couple of times. The problem is it says Space 1. We know that this is Electrical 107. If you hover over this area here, Notice that it highlights the space. Hover over this area here. If you can't see it, down here, make sure that Select Elements by Face is turned off. You'd see that if you click it, there's a red X. Now if you hover over your space, you should be able to see it. So select this X, and let's look at our properties. We can scroll down until we find name and number. The room number is 107. The room name is electrical. For name and number up here, it just says one space. We're gonna rename all of these in one shot. We do want our space name and number to match our room name and number. Let's zoom out. Hit escape a few times. Click space. I'm going to start putting spaces in all of my rooms. I'd like you to do the same. This is not actually a space, it's just an outdoor patio. Hit escape a couple of times once you have them all in there. Now, I want these to rename themselves based on the room information. To do that on the Analyze tab, click Space Naming. For my options, I want to rename names and numbers. We only have them on this level, but for selection, we can say all levels. Click OK. There we go. Now our spaces are reading the actual room information. That's how you do it.